Special News Bull Hurricane Aaron intensifies in the Atlantic. Good evening, and welcome to today's Special News Bulletin. Our focus tonight is Super Hurricane Aaron, a massive storm that continues to move through the Atlantic. Raising widespread concern, Aaron not only threatens the Caribbean but also poses a potential danger to the U.S. East Coast and Atlantic Canada. At the same time, a new tropical, a new tropical disturbance has been identified which could become the next named storm. All of these developments highlight that this hurricane season has entered its peak. With unpredictable risks ahead, hurricane season backdrop, the emergence of Aaron. Every year from June to November, the Atlantic Basin enters hurricane season, a period when ocean and atmospheric conditions converge to create tropical cyclones. Some storms bring only showers and light winds, while others grow into destructive hurricanes inflicting severe damage on lives and infrastructure. This year, early forecasts warned of above-average storm activity due to unusually warm sea surface temperatures. The rapid development of Aaron has proven those predictions accurate. Aaron originated as a tropical wave off West Africa, initially just a weak cluster of clouds. But once it reached the central Atlantic, with sea surface temperatures above 28 degrees Celsius, low wind shear, and high humidity, the system quickly strengthened, from a tropical depression, Aaron intensified into a tropical storm, and within days, escalated into a Category 3 hurricane. Such rapid intensification has worried meteorologists, as storms that strengthen explosively are notoriously difficult to predict. Current Situation, Super Hurricane Aaron in the Atlantic. According to the latest data from the U.S. National Hurricane Center, NHC, Aaron this morning maintained maximum sustained winds near 125 miles per hour, over 200 kilometers per hour. With a central pressure of 940 MB, these values classify Aaron as a strong category 3 hurricane on the Saphir Simpson scale. Last night, Aaron went through an eyewall replacement cycle, a process where a new outer eyewall forms and replaces the inner one. During this stage, wind speeds can temporarily dip. But once completed, the storm often intensifies again, sometimes even stronger than before. Forecasts suggest Aaron could regain Category 4 strength within 24 hours. With sustained winds between 130 to 145 miles per hour. Radar from Puerto Rico clearly shows Aaron's spiral structure. Outer rain bands have already reached the island, bringing heavy rainfall, gusty winds and localized flooding in mountainous regions. Offshore, waves 10 to 13 feet, 3 to 4 meters, high threaten vessels and coastal areas. Authorities have issued urgent advisories, suspending fishing operations and warning residents to stay away from beaches. Further northwest, Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas are under tropical storm warnings. Although Aaron's eye will not pass directly over these islands, its broad wind field spans hundreds of kilometers bringing heavy rain and gale force gusts. Meteorologists emphasize that the forecast cone only indicates the probable center track, not the full range of impacts. Forecast track risks to multiple regions. Aaron is currently moving west-northwest at about 13 to 14 miles per hour. Over the next 48 hours, it is expected to maintain this track before curving northward under the influence of larger atmospheric systems. This trajectory places multiple regions at risk. Bahamas, strong winds, heavy rainfall, and storm surge flooding possible within 24 to 48 hours. U.S. East Coast, especially North Carolina's Outer Banks. Fragile barrier islands that could face serious flooding and erosion even from a close pass. Bermuda, positioned to the east, but a slight track shift could bring direct hurricane conditions. Atlantic Canada, Nova Scotia and Newfoundland, particularly the Avalon Peninsula, could see hurricane force winds and heavy rain by the weekend. Importantly, Aaron's wind field will expand significantly as it moves northward. Even without a direct landfall, coastal regions will likely endure large waves, strong winds, and dangerous storm surge. Forecast models, different scenarios. Global weather models are tracking Aaron closely, but differences remain. ECMWF, European model, brings Aaron close to the Outer Banks before sweeping northeast toward Newfoundland. 
GFS, American model, takes Aaron farther east, reducing U.S. risk but raising threats for Atlantic Canada. HWRF and ICON indicate Aaron approaching North Carolina very closely but stopping short of landfall. Ensemble forecasts. Most members suggest Aaron will avoid direct U.S. landfall. Though indirect coastal impacts are inevitable. What models agree on? Aaron is likely to remain a strong hurricane for several days. Thanks to warm waters and low wind shear. Potential impacts. Aaron's impacts can be grouped into four main regions. Caribbean, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, Turks and Caicos, and the Bahamas will be hit first. High risks of flash floods, landslides, and coastal inundation. U.S. East Coast. North Carolina's outer banks face threats of erosion and flooding from large waves and storm surge. Bermuda. Heavy rain and strong winds possible if the storm shifts eastward. Atlantic Canada. Nova Scotia and Newfoundland likely to face damaging gusts and flooding rains by the weekend. Beyond physical damage, Aaron's disruption extends to social and economic impacts, cancelled flights, halted shipping routes, and tourism losses across the Caribbean and the Bahamas. Fishing industries are also at a standstill. New tropical disturbance, potential storm Fernand. While Aaron dominates attention, a new tropical disturbance has formed off Africa. Currently, it has a 20% chance of developing within five days. Models suggest that if it enters the Caribbean or Gulf of Mexico, where waters are extremely warm and wind shear is weak, rapid intensification is possible. If named, it would become Tropical Storm Fernand, a concerning scenario, as the Gulf is historically prone to explosive storms. U.S. Domestic Weather While Aaron churns offshore, Mainland U.S. also faces severe weather today. Midwest and Great Lakes, strong thunderstorms and heavy rain causing flooding in Minnesota and Wisconsin. Northeast, thunderstorms expected in Pennsylvania, New York, and New England, with gusty winds and lightning. Southeast and Florida, scattered summer thunderstorms. West, Rocky Mountains, showers reported in Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. South Central, Extreme heat persists. With wildfire warnings in multiple states. Super Hurricane Aaron is a clear reminder that the Atlantic hurricane season has entered its peak. While Aaron's center may not directly strike the U.S., indirect impacts are unavoidable. Residents of the Caribbean, the Bahamas, Bermuda, the U.S. East Coast, and Atlantic Canada must prepare emergency plans and remain vigilant. Meanwhile, the new disturbance off Africa should also be monitored closely, as it could become the next named storm. Fernand, we will continue to bring you the latest updates in our next bulletins. Thank you for watching and staying informed.